So let's look at one last example. Here we'll look at the reaction of sulfur dioxide and permanganate ion and water to give you sulfate, manganese ion, and hydrogen ion. Now one tip to give in a case like this is that if you've got four atoms, hydrogen, oxygen, and two others, it's usually the other two that are undergoing the oxidation and reduction. And to show this, we can start with hydrogen and oxygen. Right. Oxygen for our first two reactants are going to be negative two each. And we'll use the sum rule to find sulfur and manganese like we did before. And we, in our last example, we figured out the oxidation numbers of water as plus one and negative two. Sulfate, we're going to start with negative two, and we'll use the sum rule to find sulfur for the product. And again, hydrogen ions, a monatomic ion, so its real charge will be its oxidation number. So you can see in this case, the oxidation numbers of hydrogen and oxygen aren't changing in any of the cases. They're all negative two for oxygen, plus one for hydrogen. So if this is a redox reaction, then sulfur and manganese should show the loss or the gain of electrons. So sulfur, like I said, we'll use the sum rule to find the oxidation number of it. And it's a neutral compound, so it's going to be zero. So in this case, sulfur has a plus four oxidation number. Permanganate ion was in our previous example, and we already figured out that it was plus seven. For sulfur, this time sulfur and those four oxygens, which we've already said are negative two each, should equal the overall charge of negative two because it's a sulfate ion with a negative two charge. So sulfur will equal plus six. And again, manganese ion, manganese two, is going to be plus two because it's a monatomic ion just like H plus. So if you look at sulfur, sulfur is going from a plus four oxidation number to a plus six oxidation number. So again, we treat these oxidation numbers like real charges to go from a plus four to a plus six charge. That requires you to remove or lose electrons, which means sulfur has been oxidized. And manganese, like we saw before, is going from plus seven to plus two. So that's a gain of electrons means manganese is being reduced. All right. Finally, a couple, of, a couple of other common terms that are used for redox reactions are the terms oxidizing agent and reducing agent. An oxidizing agent is something that oxidizes another substance. Reducing agent reduces another substance. <clears throat> so if an oxidizing agent is oxidizing something else, if you think about that, to cause something else to lose electrons you have to take them. So you gain those electrons that you take. That means that an oxidizing agent becomes reduced. Likewise, the reducing agent is going to become oxidized. Because if you're going to cause something to gain electrons, you have to give up some of your own. So you've lost electrons. So looking at the example that we just did, sulfur became oxidized. 
So we could say that sulfur is the reducing agent, but actually you refer to the whole compound as the agent. So for this example, sulfur dioxide is said to be the reducing agent because the sulfur in this compound is becoming oxidized. Likewise, manganese and permanganate is becoming reduced. So permanganate ion is said to be the oxidizing agent in this case.